I was not on the list of invitees to that meeting. So that was not my meeting. I cannot tell you anything about that meeting. I can only tell you something about the meeting I held with uh, uh, Dr. Sally Kosge, Martha Karua, and Peter Kenneth. That is the meeting I was involved in. So if there were any details uh, uh, that I can offer, I, it can only be about that meeting. Is there that has been put somewhere that Musalia should only meet specific people? And is there a script that has been put somewhere that certain leaders in this country have the latitude to meet anybody whom they so wish? Uh, but if Musalia has a meeting with uh, one or two other people, uh, they are expecting me to seek permission from them? That's we have reached a stage where if Honorable Wetangula comes to see me, it is assumed that we can discuss nothing else but Luya unity. We have reached a stage if Honorable Kalonzo meets with the Muthama, they can discuss nothing else but Kamba unity. We have now reached a stage where you say if President Uhuru meets with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, Martha Karua, they can discuss nothing else but Kikuyu unity. We have reached a stage where we say if William Ruto meets with Isaac Ruto, they can discuss nothing else but Kalenjin unity. Come on. Because territory begins at home. No, 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 no. That is a shallow uh, dimension, my brother. Let us go beyond that. Let us go beyond that. I know who I am. I know my mother tongue. And I know my community. But honestly, honestly, what are we doing to our country if we want to permanently ethnicize this conversation? When they decide that my policies are right, they will vote for me. Not because I am born amongst them, but because they think it's right. So what do you say to those people propagating the Luya unity agenda? If we are talking of unity of purpose, unity of working with other Kenyans, unity of uplifting the welfare of the people, then what's wrong with that? Well, to be honest, I have to craft my own path. Um, uh, uh, this is this, and everybody in politics will be crafting their own path. And it's a question of uh, to what extent can you generate synergies uh, with other people uh, as you go along in crafting that. Uh, and uh, of course, the end game on that particular process will come when people are casting their vote uh, in 2022. Um, uh, and that will come, whether we like it or not. It is, it is a futuristic position, uh, two years away, and we will get there. Um, so I don't mind if they read politics into it. They're entitled to that uh, uh, opinion. So uh, let me make it very clear. Uh, I will continue consulting, even the political spectrum. Um, and uh, maybe the question I should ask, who has a problem with whom I'm meeting? Why should it bother them? Uh, why should it worry them? Is there a script that has been put somewhere that Musalia should only meet specific people? And is there a script that has been put somewhere that certain leaders in this country have the latitude to meet anybody whom they so wish. Uh, but if Musalia has a meeting with uh, one or two other people, uh, they are expecting me to seek permission from them? That's a joke. I should meet with everybody. 
yale yalitendeka ama kama kuna watu walienda ukoo sijui nyinyi mliona nini mimi sikuwa lakini kunasemekana watu walikuwa wanacheza rumba na kadhalika sasa itakuwa jo <laughs> nyinyi wenyewe mjiulize ikiwa viongozi wanafanya hivyo wana keuka sheria hawati sheria alafu sasa unasema ukishika mwananchi wa kawaida akikeuka kafyu unamweka kwa sel mwananchi wa kawaida akitoka kwa muji wa Nairobi naende muranga bila kufata sheria unamngojea pale kwa roadblock unampeleka kwa cell na tulikuwa tumeambiwa kwamba ukitaka kukeuka kuruka kutoka kwa mpaka lazima wewe unatoa huduma za, za muhimu emergency services sasa wewe niambie kusema ukweli ni emergency service gani ambayo ilikuwa inatolewa na viongozi ambao wamechaguliwa eneo la magharibi wapite huko wapite bunge ambayo ndio kikao chao cha kazi waende paka Kajado sio kutoa huduma ya maji ama nini sasa wewe niambie kulikuwa na essential service gani kwa hiyo mkuta 